Hey SEO friends, video 10 for the relaunch. The final one for the relaunch. Uh, don't know a schedule for upcoming videos, but we have plenty that we're going to be doing. Um, so, uh, creating for TikTok. Um, yeah, I've been doing some TikTok stuff lately, and uh, I came up with a worthwhile process for, you know, making quick and simple TikTok videos, uh, you know, using Stream Deck and my dual monitor setup. And uh, you might appreciate it. There's a couple of tips that are worthwhile here. Um, so, yeah, I have my Stream Deck dual monitor set up, and that's how I make my videos. Um, basically, uh, on an open broadcaster system, that's what I use to record. I have a separate profile for TikTok. I have a separate scene for TikTok. Basically, because the, you know, orientation of the screen, instead of being rectangle, rectangular, rectangular, uh, 1920 by 1080 it's 1080 by 1920 so uh and then you know i need to change the orientation of the screen recording and then i also uh redefine the hotkeys for uh slideshow so uh obs has a built-in slideshow and it uses I, I already had these buttons configured the record and pause but i added for the slideshows back and forward for the slides and those are hotkeys that you define inside of uh, uh, OBS. And I define them as keys on my uh, stream deck so that I don't have to navigate out of them. And I can quickly and easily, uh, you know, fire up a bunch of uh, quick videos. Um, I just did five the other day, quick and simple. Um, so pretty important uh, to know uh for backgrounds on um, TikTok, they're 1080 by 1920, and the best way to find a bunch of worthwhile ones for Photoshop is uh, to search mobile backgrounds, because a lot of mobile phones are 1080 by 1920. So if you search mobile backgrounds and you add you know, your keyword, money, whatever, you're gonna find something like that. Um, I dropped the opacity and I, you know, of the background so that you can see the foreground better. And then I save the files in numeric order. Um, 1A, 1B, 1C, 1D, 1E, dot JPEG. And I, you know, this 1A, 1B, 1C, 1D, 1E would be blank, whatever. And leave room at the bottom. Um, I add these little boxes with text. I add them as I'm speaking over them. And uh, the reason why you put them like this is it's easier to add them in the... Um, slideshow and they automatically show up in order because you've you know numeric you, you you've made them alphabetical to begin with so when they go into you know uh, obs to do your slideshow quick and simple um that's how i do it i uh, add, the, add them in i uh, move from slide to slide with the uh, stream deck you know configure your hotkeys um speak over the content leave room at the bottom now the last thing that i'm going to mention about tiktok is a tip that I got from James Jernigan. Um, by the way, his course on TikTok is excellent. If you have any interest in doing TikTok, grab his course. You're going to find some worthwhile tips. This is a good one that he mentioned, and I felt it necessary to mention here, is the Teammate app. This is the desktop version. I believe there is an app version. And basically, you uh, put your TikTok video in here. You click Download. And it downloads the video without the TikTok logo so that you can push it to Instagram and YouTube. So you can repurpose content pretty simply. Um, teammate app. Um, like I said, I believe there's an app version. There's definitely this desktop version. And quick and simple pulls the uh, video and pulls it without the TikTok logo, which is pretty cool. So that is uh, my creation process. Pretty simple, straightforward, fast. Um, you can crank out a lot of videos that way. You grab five backgrounds, you start throwing those little tabs on them, you speak over them, record them, upload them, tag them, good to go. So that's my uh, quick and simple, down and dirty uh, TikTok uh, you know, creation method. And uh, you know, like I said, make sure that you configure those hotkeys and uh, profile and scene an open broadcaster, and you're good to go. Open broadcaster, of course, best part I'm out there for recording stuff. That's what I'm using right now for these videos. Um, it's free. I mean, you can't beat that. And it's super strong. You can do anything you want. So, uh, good luck. Let me know how you make out. 
and uh, definitely check into uh, James Jernigan's course. Uh, worthwhile. You know, I, I've learned a lot from it. So good luck. Take care. Thanks.